Hey guys, hope everyone's keeping well. Um, it has been a long time, so I just thought I would jump on here and do like a wee, wee video update. Um, not too much has been happening, but that's that's a great thing. Um, in my book, um, Henry is doing extremely well. Um, he is thriving. He's getting big. Um, he's getting so funny. Um, he. His speech is coming on so so well. Um, so I think we have to wait from to hear word from speech and language. Just about I sort of men mentioned the health visitor. Just some of his wee letters he couldn't get because he was on the dummies. So many dummies for so long, and um, like S's and stuff like that. So I think they were gonna just have a wee phone call and just see what see what we could do. Um, but I'm pretty sure that'll come with time because he's off the dummies now, which is great. Um, but yeah, he, he's thriving. He is, he's getting pretty heavy. So whenever he asks to be carried, you're just, <laughs> instant reaction is, nope, <laughs> off you go. Um, so, but uh, he's just, he's doing so well. Um, he has developed a wee bit of a cough recently. Did have a wee bit of a COVID scare, but we're all fine. Um, we were just a close contact um, last weekend, but we're fine. Um, Henry, I think he's just caught some as, he, as he's been out and about mixing. Um, we have been going to church and putting him in the crash, which is letting him mix with other kids a bit more, which is which is great. Um, and it's great also because David's mom, David's family go to this church, so um, David's mom and David's sister are in. Um, they do the crash sometimes, so it's good for. I sort of feel a lot more relaxed knowing they know Henry so well. Um. And there's there's not too many kids in there, so it's it's great it's great to see him mixing, and he just he absolutely ador adores it, um, so I think that's really really good for us to be going at the minute, um, just to do something a bit more normal. I hate using that word because I don't think anything's normal anymore, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's been good, um, and the the big thing that's happening now is oh did I I'm not sure if I told you about the whole mix up with the consultant and his one on one care I don't think I did, um, so like for months, <laughs> for months we were waiting this they were there was like an advert out for a, someone to come on board to the nursery to help with the one on one care for Henry. Um, because in the report from the endocrinologist, it said that Henry needed like a, an assistant, um, and it wasn't like rough play or anything like that. So we were going down the route of getting him one on one care in the nursery he was in before, but I think I'd mentioned it came with a heavy price tag, and it was double the price, and it would just take ages. Nobody was really, I think maybe COVID wise, like nobody was really looking for the jobs and you know, reluctantly we contacted other nurseries and that was the same issue. Um but I really, really wanted to get him back to the Little Kingdom kids. So a wee while ago I made the call like the this phone the consultant to just discuss this report a wee bit more just to see um how you know not how sort of serious but you know how does he really need it? Like, not that I would want to take risks, but um, forgive me if I've already told you all this, but I honestly can't remember. Um, but he, yeah, spoke to the con the consultant, and she says no, she didn't mean that. <laughs> so we were just like, what? For like months, we were looking for someone to do one on one care, and he didn't even need it. Um. So I sort of just asked, you know, what, well, what, what, what did it mean? Um, and she said, as long as the the staff. In the nursery, um, are aware of his condition, his osteoporotic bones, um, that's that should be that should be fine, um, no rough play or no jumping, which is proving to be quite hard because he's like, he's trying to, um, which is great because he's obviously confident and, and feeling strong in himself. So yeah, because of all that changed, I phoned the nursery straight away and they were just like, what? And I was like, I know, I was a wee bit frustrated to be honest, but then delighted the fact that we didn't have to go down the route of one-on-one -on -one care and, pr and pay that crazy <laughs> crazy money um so yeah we, we were able to get the ball rolling and discuss how we could get Henry back in the nursery so he is going for a couple of settling mornings next week which is bad um a couple of settling mornings just two mornings a couple of hours each um see how he gets on I'm I have no doubt he is going to love it um 
and yeah he'll be there for like snack time story time which is great and then the week after he starts going um a few mornings a week and um yeah it's it's well it's like half days he's going um so yeah um we're going down next wednesday morning to discuss his care plan with them um just to remember what all i need to take down with him um it's been a long time since i've done that routine of taking him to nursery before work um i am so excited for him um i'm a wee bit emotional wee wee bit anxious um just thinking about him getting back there after all this all this time and after all he's been through um just so excited for him that's i'm just the overriding emotion is joy just a wee bit i know on wednesday morning and whenever he starts the week after i'm gonna be a wee bit emotional um because it's he's just been so close to us for so so long now um but yeah it's very exciting so yeah just pray that all of that goes smoothly i've no doubt it will but um just pray and you know i've said to the staff in the nursery that you know it's inevitable i know kids are germ magnets um and he is going to catch stuff and he is going to bring stuff home and that's just normal that's just the way it is um and it's probably hopefully going to strengthen his immune system um but he's doing great he does have a week off at the minute he was meant to do his Saturday mornings last week and start nursery this week coming but he has this cough so i didn't want to i didn't want to throw him into nursery it, it just it, he's fine it's just mostly at night time and it's definitely not like the cough he had all that time time ago where he was really harshly it's just when he's lying down um so yeah that's the biggest thing that's happening soon i'm getting back to work full time again next week um which is another strange thing to, to start like it's it's not many more hours that i've been doing but it's gonna be you know getting into that routine again um and yeah and david's applied for the other jobs so we're just waiting now um and just praying about that as well so everything everything's going really well um i'm feeling in a good place at the minute uh we've, we've got a lovely walk yesterday just all three of us um henry got these new spider-man welly boots courtesy of granny sharon um and they light up when he steps so he adores them so he had to go out for a walk and of course every puddle had to meet these welly boots so um he was having some fun but it was just nice to get out for a walk like the weather was just it was lovely it was like there was no real wind and it wasn't too cold um it was just nice for my head to get out to get outside for for a bit not that i've stayed indoors all the time but just like a proper walk um and and yeah everything else is going great works works busy but i'm, I'm loving it i'm loving being really productive at the minute um and just in my free time i'm just trying to just to read a bit um me and david are watching netflix all the usual kind of stuff i'm learning piano more now i'm starting to post a bit more um not i'm not an expert by any means but i'm really enjoying playing it and and singing again when i get the chance um which is what i'm going to do after this update um david's at granny gwen's um until about four or so and david's way out doing a bit of work and and yeah just everything's just going really well i always get this is awful i always get really a wee bit nervous whenever things go really well um dare i mention like last time we were sort of at a position where everything was going smoothly and stuff and then he broke his legs you know it's just it's quite hard to get you know your mindset out of that place not that i'm sitting waiting for something to go wrong but it's just it's it's a hard thought pattern to shift um, but I'm getting there with it. I'm um, doing more meditation, which I really recommend. Um, I'm reading more and just taking time out and resting more, and it's just I'm feeling good. So um, yeah, things things are things are going well. Um, I don't think there's anything else to anything else to report. Um, yeah, I'll let you know how nursery goes for him. Um, I'll post some pictures with this update as well, so you can see how big he's getting. I had to buy him more clothes today because I don't know what's going on. He's just getting very tall, so everything, like all of his tops and jumpers, are kind of like up around his belly. <laughs> so whether his belly's getting bigger, or he's getting taller. Either way, I had to get him new new stuff. So um, and he's now 
entered the world. Oh, he got his hair cut. Oh, and I got my hair coloured. Um, that's a big update. Um, so he got his hair cut, which he hated. Um, and I sort of said in the hairdressers, I'll take you to the toy shop. Um, so he did not, he didn't forget that. So we took him to the toy shop and let him pick something. And he picked a Batman costume. <laughs> <laughs> so he's been dressed up as Batman and then Granny Sharon bought him a Spider-Man outfit which they're never off him um, so he loves all this dressing up now so I think I need to get him I think he's asked for Hulk next and he always says Captain America um, so I'm going to have to get him the whole collection I think and now he's he's been introduced to Lego um, the worst thing to ever stand on so I'm gonna have to get him Lego Lego figures and stuff. So yeah, the list is growing. So I'm kind of spacing it out and kind of wondering if I can save it till his birthday in July. But I'm not too sure he'll be that patient. But um, yeah, everything's going well. I hope everybody else is keeping well. The world is a crazy place at the minute, and I I hate turning on the TV. I hate looking at social media. Um, I just get I just get so just get so sad um, and feel quite heavy with what's going on in the world but like all I, I'm just praying for everybody that's been affected by it um, and it's just I, I'm just trying to shut off my head not not in a rude way but just you can get really caught up and really anxious about things like that and it it's very upsetting what's going on but um, I'm just praying that everybody affected is safe and protected um and and yeah that these these crazy people are um I'm just pray that they see the light at some point um and see sense but I'll not dwell on that because that's quite depressing this this update's a positive one about Henry um but yes I hope everyone's keeping safe and well COVID side of things I don't know what's going on anymore um but I hope everybody's safe and well still um and yeah, I am rambling on, but I, I hope to see you all sometime soon. Um, and I'll let you know how nursery goes for Henry. Um, but other than that, have a lovely weekend and I'll speak to you soon. Okay, take care. Bye.